Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4 Episode 15. So there's only this episode and the next episode left for Part 1. And yeah, interested to see, uh, interested to see what is going down now. Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4 Episode 15. So there's only this episode and next episode left for Part 1. So interesting to see what's going down now in the last two final episodes for this part for the second part um but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode liberio so li So Liberio is on in Mali, right? Because it looked like it would be on Paradise Island because of the walls. But I think Mali had the same thing going, basically. He has a crazy look. Okay, he sees the armband. Oh my god. To breed. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> it makes sense why they hate Mali so much because they got treated so badly. <clears throat> and because of that, I'm really surprised how how protective gabi is when it comes to male right that she's like hey the other aliens on paris island are so bad and we are the good aliens we are suffering because of you instead of being like male is the piece of shit they are the reason why we suffer <laughs> I mean, the aliens on Paradise Island are pretty much treated the same way, just that the aliens on Marley get used, and that's why the Marleans are fine with them, because they are of use, and get used as tools, basically. Would the, Malayan, uh, would the aliens on, on, in Malayne be like, yeah, we don't want to do this, they would just be killed, or, or sent to Paradise Island and be like, yep, yeah, then we don't need you, die. So I wonder if we get more backstory of Zeke now, or if this was just a small glimpse that we got now. Wait, did it say episode 14? <laughs> Who's the bad one? Oh, he had the glasses. <laughs> and that's why the glasses mean so much to him. Ballroom dance club. <clears throat> I guess this was a time when they did the like behind the scenes stuff.
I mean, this looks like a book that could be like straight from our world, basically. An old book with stories. Yes, that's not the whole truth. I bought the cat's house. <laughs> he sucks. Yeah, I guess he wasn't a prodigy, a born soldier. Looks a bit like Aaron. <clears throat> Here comes the story again. Yeah. So how did he end up with the Titan, right? <clears throat> if he was so bad. Maybe the guy had the last word in it. Because he maybe had faith in him. In him. <clears throat> Which would remind me a little bit of Captain America, right? Where he's basically like not made for the military. The Beast Titan. But while he was not the best candidate, the guy saw more in him, like the professor, like the doctor. And there. That's how he got his throwing arm. <laughs> so was this always like an ability of the Beast Titan to throw shit? Or did just Zeke made it like really good? This was with the behind the scenes stuff. Oh, the dude on the left looked like Falco. Was this maybe his father, uncle, whatever? Now he gets more determined. But it's still lagging behind. Yep. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, he won't make it. God damn it. Uh. 
Bro, dude, this must be horrible. First you think, oh, look, his dad was actually nice to him. But then you see a few moments later, it was all for the purpose that he becomes a warrior. And if he can't succeed at that, the dad is super devastated about it. Classified information. <clears throat> With something. <laughs> Dedication. I guess that's something that all share that become one of the Nine Titans, right? Dedication. In one way or another. But then he thinks about his dad, what he wants. <clears throat> oh, did maybe the parents, the dad and mother get found out and got killed maybe and that's when he got his dedication. Maybe because he wanted revenge or something. And he looks so much like Aaron. <clears throat> Wait a moment. That is Grisha, right? Because I'm a bit confused because he looks so different from Grisha. This is <laughs> this is such a tough situ situation. The parents tell him one thing, the other side tells him other things. Then he is conflicted about what his parents want from him and what he wants. I mean, he's basically just a kid, right? He doesn't really know better. They didn't pay attention to what they said at the beginning. Oh, he told him about his parents. Oh, yeah, he sold him out. Oh, so the guy made him sell him out. And maybe because he showed his loyalty, maybe that's <clears throat> why he became a candidate. They are them. <laughs> Nothing. 
Okay. Wait, what? <clears throat> Even the living ones, not just the new ones that are born? Can only the founding titan do that? Or could a single person do that by himself if he's a titan? I guess it may be just something the Fawning Titan can do. Wow. Yeah, I'm still wondering, is, is Zeke basically royal blood because of Dina Fritz? But what I didn't... I think I misread it. I have to re watch that. <clears throat> Oh. Wait, when was this? Was this before they started the fight in season three? Oh yeah, it is, because Bertolt is still alive. Did I have to rewatch this and read everything again? Oh, that's when he first m met him? So Yelen brought him... Got him to go here. So that he can talk.
Wow. Hmm. Okay. I so have to rewatch this. <laughs> and this was a whole episode of backstory, basically. Is Aaron coming in? Is he blowing the torch thingy? Yep. I guess he survives that somewhat. God damn. Determination again. And the end. Holy shit, bro. Okay. What an interesting episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I rewatched parts of the episode because I missed some stuff, crucial stuff. And yeah, so basically their plan is to, since Eren has a founding titan and <clears throat> Zeke has royal blood, Zeke wants to touch Eren with the idea to reconstruct the bodies of all the aliens so that they can't give birth and Aaron will be willing to do so uh, or Aaron's willingness because he has a founding titan activates the founding titan and makes it happen because the uh, founding titan has the power to reconstruct the bodies of the Eldians which is super crazy so that's the whole plan <coughs> Which I'm, which makes me super confused, because um, why did Zeke said at the end of the episode we shouldn't touch? If that's the plan and they want to do that, why not do it right away? Why wait? Is my question right now, right? Why are they waiting? What else do they plan? And which makes me also wonder, um. So I guess they have maybe more planned, but I mean, if that's one part of their plan, it's not that they die immediately, right? Then they could just do it and live their lives until they die and there can just be no more aliens, no more new aliens that can be born. So there shouldn't, there should be no problem to do it right away, I would guess, right? Because if they don't do it right away and do some other stuff, they might risk dying or losing the Titan or whatever, and then the whole plan is done over right so i'm a bit confused with that and otherwise what else do they plan maybe they want to eradicate at least male because they started this whole suffering thing for the aliens 
because I mean, like I said, I know about the rumbling, right? So El uh, Aaron is basically starting the rumbling, which basically is the biggest weapon in the whole world, I would guess, and wants to destroy someone with it, I guess. Uh, so I'm I'm a bit confused what the ultimate goal is, what they want to do, and why they are not doing this one part at least right now where they changed the aliens that they can give birth anymore um but yeah crazy thing would have never seen that coming that they basically want to change the bodies of aliens so that they can't give birth anymore and other than that it's just like a super big uh flashback episode um for zeke how his childhood was and everything why he basically sold out his parents and yeah that was grisha i mean because i was a bit confused because i mean i said on multiple occasions he looks like aaron and it makes sense because it's grisha but i was a bit confused because he didn't look like grisha how i remember him and everything so because he looked a bit different i wasn't sure that it was grisha or not <clears throat> but it is grisha but yeah super interesting episode we know now what their plan is but like I said, I'm still a bit confused. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.